Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve problem 30 from the 2016 Math Kangaroo grades 5 to 6. Here's the problem. Two three-digit numbers are made using six different digits. The first digit of the second number is twice the last digit of the first number. What's the smallest possible sum of two such numbers? So we can start trying to construct the numbers so that each number is as small as possible. So here we have the digits. Um, and we have to choose six different digits out of these. And we have two numbers here. And each number has three slots. And then we'll add them to get a three-digit number here. And that's what we're looking for. So what do we know? Um, well, we know the first digit of the second number, so this number here, is twice the last digit of the first number. So it's twice. So this number here, this number is two times whatever it goes there. And so we want to, if we were just trying to make the numbers as small as possible, what we would do is just fill in um, all the spots with the smallest numbers we could possibly fill in. So we can't put zero um, in either of these slots because that would make it a two-digit number, not a three-digit number. But we could put one and two, and then here we'd put zero and three, and it doesn't matter what order they're in because in the end we'll get the same sum anyway. And then four and five, and that would give us 339. But we can't do that because that's not going to satisfy our condition here. Um, two is not two times four. In fact, it's the other way around. So we can't use these numbers. But how did we do that? Well, we wanted to start with the smallest digits because that's going to have the biggest impact on how big the number are. Um, if we add one, just by making this number a little bigger, that's not a very big difference. But if we make this number a bit bigger, that would be adding 100, and that's a much bigger difference. So we're going to try to minimize these two places first, and then these two, and then these two. So let's look at what our options for these two places are. Well, we know whatever goes here has to be an even number, because it's two times whatever goes there. So um, what are the smallest even numbers we have? Well, 2 is the smallest. We can't use 0, because that would mean putting a 0 there, and thus repeating a number. So we could put 2 here. And then we could see what happens. Well, if we put 2 here, we would want to put 1 there, but we can't. We have to put the 1 there in order to make this number 2 times that number. Then we can only put 3 here. And then here we could put some 0 or 4. And here we'd put 5. And so this would give us 546. Is this the best we can do? Is this the smallest? Uh, at first, it might seem like it is, because we put the smallest number possible here. But one thing we might notice is that um, putting this 2, we weren't able to just put a 1 there, which would give us the smallest possible sum. We had to put this 3. So maybe um, we can still put a 4 here, and then we'd be able to put a 1. That would still not increase it by 100. 4 plus 1 is the same as 2 plus 3. So let's try that. Um, actually, I'll write it in a different place here. If we would, um, and if we would start with a 6, then that would be too much, because we would have 600 already. So 4 is our last um, option here. So if we could put a 4, that would have to be a 2. Now we'd want to put a 1 there, and then here we could put 0 or 3 in some order, and here we could put 5. And this gives us a sum of 537, which is less than the 546 we got there. And these were our two options of what we could put there. And we minimized the number in both cases, so there's no way we can get a smaller number than that. And the answer is E, which is 537. Thank you.